Gaming Bolt presents 25 must-play free mobile games. You've probably been told that mobile games aren't for real gamers. You know, the ones who spend hours complaining to Bungie or Massive about the latest meta in their favorite grind fest. However, smartphones and tablets have played host to some of the most addictive, bizarre, newfangled, and crazy games imaginable. And so many of them are free. Here are 25 must-play free titles for mobile that you have to experience. Clash Royale. Supercell's Clash Royale could have been a microtransaction enterprise like Clash of Clans or a Hearthstone ripoff. Instead, it's proven to be a compelling mix of competitive multiplayer, collectible card battling, strategy, and tower defense. The rewards also offer a good balance between free-to-play and premium, enticing you to keep playing without having to spend any real cash. Plague Inc. Plague Inc. is one of those addictive, easy-to-pick-up titles that offers tons of depth and replay value while providing an oftentimes morbid and hilarious outlook on the world. You essentially choose a pathogen for your virus, choose a place of origin, and watch the virus slowly take over the world. Each pathogen has its benefits. Some spread faster, while others are more robust against cures. It's a mad race to infect the world before humanity fights back. If you've ever wanted to experience contagion without actually fearing for your life, then Plague Inc. is worth a look. Citus. Ever wanted a rhythm game on your phone that calls to mind classics like Elite Beat Agents or OSU? Citus is the game for you with more than 100 songs to play. The gameplay is very similar to other beat matching games as an active scan lines move across the screen, challenging you to hit the notes as it passes over correctly. Citus boasts a variety of music genres and even includes a compelling post-apocalyptic plot conveyed through sleek cutscenes. Vainglory MOBAs are exceptionally hard to pull off on mobile, but Vainglory from Super Evil Megacorp makes an awesome attempt. It features a fairly strong roster of heroes to choose from, easy controls, refined balance, and some great graphics. Connection quality is also a strong point, and it's incredibly easy to hop into some 3v3 matches for some quick action. Though the in-game communication system could be better, Vainglory shows that MOBAs can and do thrive on smartphones. Kingdom Rush The mobile platform is home to a number of great tower defense titles, and Kingdom Rush is perhaps the best. It does this by throwing in unit protection, hero characters with their own powers, with new ones that can be earned through leveling up, upgrades, well-designed maps, full voice acting, and a fetching art style. The only real downside to the first game being free is that you'll immediately want to pony up the cash for the sequel and the prequel. Don't worry, they're well worth the price if you love fun strategy tower defense action. Angry Birds Before the spin-offs, the movie tie-ins, the RPG, the sequels, there was the original Angry Birds. Take random assortment of birds, launch them at pigs and structures, attempt to annihilate all the pigs, and earn stars. Then repeat. It was simple, but perfect on the go, and so very, very addictive. Many may scoff at the media juggernaut that Angry Birds has become, but it still stands as one of the best free games to play on mobile. Badland 2 The first Badland came out of nowhere with its rich art style and unorthodox yet familiar gameplay. Badland 2 expands on this further, keeping the original's four themed stages while throwing in new obstacles and traps along with allowing movement in two directions. Challenges exist to test your metal against friends, and you can just go rolling around in the newer mode. Temple Run 2 The original Endless Runner returns in an even more explosive quest. Developed by Amanji Studios, Temple Run 2 throws in more characters than you can shake an enraged monkey at, but refines the gameplay to include new obstacles and new ways to traverse the environments, like zip lines. The ability to collect green gems as a sort of extra life is also welcomed. It's the same compelling gameplay and fluid controls that make Temple 2 a must for anyone on the go. Hearthstone Blizzard has a stranglehold on nearly every genre, so why should free-to-play collectible card battlers be any different? Hearthstone has gone through its share of balance changes, loved and hated brawls, and new expansions, but it still delivers a competitive card battling experience. The ability to access your account whether you're on mobile or PC is also incredibly convenient. Just remember that ranked doesn't matter in ranked play mode. You'll endure less heartbreak that way. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Square Enix nearly nuked any potential future for mobile Final Fantasy titles with all the bravest, but rebounded well with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. 
It may not be the best 16-bit style Final Fantasy game out there, but Brave Exvius still offers classic combat with challenging enemies, great music, and plenty of tasks to run through. Microtransactions are still kind of annoying, but at least everything can be earned through simply playing the game. Plants vs. Zombies 2 It's hilarious to think of all the hate that Plants vs. Zombies 2 garnered at its release for microtransactions, because it's still easily one of the best free games available. Classic plants being locked behind paid packs sucks, sure, but the new plants, power-ups via plant food, new areas with hefty updates having added more, and crazy good gameplay supersedes all of that. Plants vs. Zombies 2 is definitely recommended for strategy fans, tower defense fans, and anyone who likes a jolly good time. Fruit Ninja Who thought a game about slicing fruit every which way could be so damn entertaining? Well, probably the same people who thought a movie on the same could be good, but that's beside the point. Fruit Ninja takes a concept that's easy to grasp while testing the player's reflexes when it comes to slicing multiple fruit for bonus points. Fruit Ninja boasts a great mix of instant action and challenge while utilizing the most basic functionality of a touchscreen. Asphalt 8 Airborne Gameloft are usually iffy in their sequel quality. I'm looking at you, Dungeon Hunter. But Asphalt 8 Airborne is arguably one of the greatest racing games available on mobile. Numerous exotic cars, 180 events in career mode, and refinements on the already solid racing are just a few of the things you can expect from Asphalt 8 besides the startling visuals. Triple Town Who doesn't love building settlements and protecting a community from ninjas and bears? Triple Town actually takes this town management formula and injects some awesome puzzle-solving mechanics into it. Merge three of the same adjoining tiles to form a more advanced tile, thus building up your entire town, or earn additional tiles and coins by combining four or more of the same tiles. If that sounds even the least bit addictive to you, then Triple Town will trap you for seemingly forever. Strike Fleet Omega Another hybrid tower defense slash real-time strategy game? Well, perhaps, but Strike Fleet Omega promises a whole lot more depth and challenge. You control a range of large ships that can be upgraded with different turrets and fighter ships in order to dispatch alien attackers. The best part is that the in-app purchases are completely optional, allowing you to amass an entire fleet of death without spending any money. Strike Fleet Omega also comes from the studio behind Shadowrun Returns, Dragonfall, and Hong Kong. What are you waiting for? 2048 Normally we'd recommend the excellent threes from Servo LLC, which introduced the concept of matching and adding up progressively larger numbers. However, 2048 manages to achieve the same goal while being free at the same time. It may not be as aesthetically pleasing, and there are clones galore, but it falls to the wayside when you're trying to hit 2048. Then it becomes the journey of screwing with your friends' heads as you hit 65,536 or some other such obscene target. Dead Trigger 2 Dead Trigger 2 may not be Left 4 Dead on mobile, but it's a straightforward first-person shooter with reliable controls, plenty of content, and waves of zombies to murder. Movement is completely free, and there are tons of weapons to discover. You can even craft newer weapons to further augment your zombie-slaying potential. Though fairly repetitive with its objectives, Dead Trigger 2 can be awesome in short bursts. Galaxy on Fire 2 HD If you're looking for one of the best dogfighting space sim titles, Galaxy on Fire 2 HD is the answer. A dogfighting space sim on mobile, you might ask? It may seem strange, but it's totally true. There are hundreds of planets to explore with more than 50 spaceships, a 10-hour campaign broken up into story and sandbox missions, and incredible optimization all around. In-app purchases allow you to access two more campaigns, but having such a great time right off the bat for free is incredible. Winter Walk one fine winter day, a dapper gentleman goes for a walk. Tap the screen for him to walk and tap his hat to avoid it flying off in the wind. Sounds mind-numbingly simple for sure, but Winter Walk sees the gentleman interspersing his journey with wry comments and observations. It's almost easy to get lost in the journey and forget why you're there. But Winter Walk has a point. It's worth finding out when it costs nothing. Subterfuge Subterfuge isn't your typical strategy game. In fact, it's unlike pretty much any other strategy game out there, since games play out over an entire week. You can spend your time gathering intelligence and teaming with other players, crafting your diplomacy and one-upping opponents. But the real brilliance is in how little or how much you want to put into the experience. Subterfuge is for those who want to play a long-term game of cerebral assassination. 
RPG Clicker. Clicker games aren't everyone's cup of tea, but there's just something so entrancingly beautiful about damage numbers, stats, levels, and so much more constantly going up. Enter RPG Clicker with its vast array of spells, weapons, and endless leveling. It's almost like a traditional dungeon crawler, except without the dungeon crawling aspect, and with a focus on action. Be warned, once you start, you may not be able to stop. Jetpack Joyride. Another classic from Fruit Ninja developer Halfbrick is Jetpack Joyride. Again, the objective is simple. Navigate through a level, collect coins, and other goodies while jetpacking up and down by releasing the button. When you add all of these additional objectives, vehicles, cosmetic upgrades, unlockable missions, leaderboards, and so on, then Jetpack Joyride becomes one hell of a free package to enjoy. Cut the Rope. Like Angry Birds, Cut the Rope may have its share of sequels and follow-ups, but you still can't go wrong with the original, especially since it's free. The objective is simple. Cut the rope and feed Omnom. Over time, the puzzle become more complex as you devise new ways to feed the adorable monster. Hundreds of levels means plenty to do, and competing for stars increases the replay value. Once again, as a free game, Cut the Rope is a steal. Trials Frontier Ubisoft may not be the greatest in the world when it comes to franchise quality, but it's always been on point with the Trials franchise. Trials of the Blood Dragon never happened, okay? Trials Frontier was a surprisingly great addition, boasting a pretty strong campaign that tested your skills with tricks and acceleration. There are tons of upgrades and new bikes to earn, plenty of missions to complete, and excellent control responsiveness on top of everything else. Punch Quest Sometimes you just need to rush through dungeons and punch things to unlock cool hates. Punch Quest is straight to business in that regard, but packs and combos, super moves, quests, and much more to augment your punching fervor. If that weren't enough, you can even customize your character to become the puncher you've always wanted to be. Simply put, Punch Quest makes punching things fun. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.